Previously on Let's Play Skyrim. Let's draw this guy out. Get the blade. Wait for it. Hooch! Oh! Ooh! <laughs> Get shit on! <laughs> Welcome back. We are in our new sanctuary. We sat down for a nice meal with Mr. Three Dog. And now, yes. we're going to go talk it to the Night Mother. Emperor Titus Mead II lies dead. Yes. And the Dark Brotherhood yet lives. Yes. What do you have but to say, Night Mother? Is just beginning. Approach me, listener. Okay. And hear my words. Well, that is my job as listeners to hear your words. Started the Dark Brotherhood forever. Okay. Yet I, I know what this this quest is. Has prayed to their mother. Already. Speak with the corrupt agent at the Penitus Oculatus out. In Dragonbridge. Ah, oh, great. We gotta go back to Dragonbridge. Accept his gold, then kill the target. Hail Sithis. Yes, yes, Hail Sithis. Okay. Um, so what we gotta do is head toward Dragonbridge, talk to our new target, so to speak, and go kill somebody. That is the plan. Oh, it's Cicero. Cicero! Let's remain silent. Oh, yes. It is Cicero. <laughs> you are a fool to spare me. What, did you think I would be grateful? Yeah. Cicero should be listener. No. Not you. Now you will die. All right, Cicero. It's time for you to bring it. You're going to get cut, son. Gotcha! <laughs> oh, look at him. Wasn't quite as funny as I was expecting to be. Oh, Cicero has returned! Not to kill the kind listener, but to serve until one of us dies horribly in service to our mother. <laughs> Best friends forever. Okay, okay, Cicero. In the meantime, He's probably my favorite follower I'm guy kind of person so far. Pending. I've done my research, and we can get Cicero to follow us if we want. <laughs> and I know what the Dark Brotherhood Forever quest is. Oh, it's actually an infinite looping quest. So we're, we're going to do one so I can show you guys what it is. So we're going to get him to follow us just to see what loot he has on him. Because I don't, I don't know that much. Let's kill someone. I like that. Let's kill someone. Okay, I need to rearrange your equipment and your face if you mouth off again. <laughs> Listener. <laughs> And that tickles. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Ebony Dagger. That's right. Cicero to the rescue. Thank you. We will take that. But we're not going to leave you hanging, Cicero. No, sir. You've been good to us. Sort of. Look at that. 16 damage. 290 value. Yes, we will equip that. That and our Blade of Woe. We are going to wreck some shop. Dual dagger style. Okay. We'll give you the Orcish Dagger. Because... We don't need it anymore. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else I can give you at the moment? Hmm. I'm kind of looking through here to see if I need to equip anything. <laughs> You've already got all this Jester stuff on, so you should be okay there. Um, Shrouded stuff. Nah. That all looks good. Nope. Thieves Guild Armor. We're going to keep that. Okay, that should be good. Um, and let's dismiss him. Home again, home again. <laughs> I'll return to the night, mother, straight away. All right. So now the next thing we need to do is head. We're actually gonna head to Riften. Oh, look at look at how cool that looks. Oh, hey, Shadow Mayor. Um, but yeah, we actually want to head to Riven, talk to Riften, talk to Del Delvin about uh, rearranging some stuff for the new sanctuary. And we have arrived at the Thieves' Guild. So let's 
Actually, um, where is that? There it is. There's that target. Let's pick us up some Hi. arrows. Real quick. Thank you for the steel arrows. Like I said, if you're an archer, it's a good thing to at least join the Thieves' Guild. Because you can come here and basically get an infinite amount of arrows. <laughs> like, he just shoots, and I take it. Just like that. Now, will he shoot if I'm here? I've never, never tried that. Hmm. Shoots as soon as I move. Interesting. I never knew that that would happen. Okay. Cool. Well, let's go talk to Delvin about sprucing up the place. Just going to go right through here. And here we are. All right. So here's Delvin. Need some gold. I may have some work for you. We need to repair and refit the Dawnstar Sanctuary. That's what we need to do. The Dawn Star Sanctuary? Is that where you lot are holding up? Uh, tell you what, it will cost you a lot. But I can help you out. What exactly are we talking about here? Well, let's see. We got new banners, a prisoner's nook, a torture chamber, a secret entrance, master bedroom. Yeah, we want that. We definitely want a master bedroom. Uh, what else do we want? Hmm. What should we start with? Banners, New banners. Man. Try to put you the place up. All right, you got it. All right. So we got one got thing. Lots of jobs available. Interested? I guess we gotta. I guess we gotta get them all. So what I'm gonna do of course is can. buy all this stuff that you see listed here, and then I'm gonna talk to Tanelia, <laughs> sell some stuff, buy some stuff, and then we right. will head no to problem. Dragon Bridge. And start nice. that uh, Dark Brotherhood Forever contract. We have arrived at Dragon's Bridge. Or Dragon Bridge, excuse me. So we're just going to come into the outpost where we stole that stuff before. Talk to the agent. Oh. Like I, like I thought. We are <laughs> 2540. <laughs> uh, let's get out of here. Pay with. Running away! <laughs> I'm not looking to do much combat right now. I just want to start my damn quest. All right, let's just uh, hide. Kitty parkour, parkour. All right, they sh oh, someone's a good shot. Damn. All right, let's get out of the way. Let's see. Got two guards after us. I mean, we could take them out, but I just want to get right to it. Get to business, if you fellas don't mind. All right, they can't see us. Losing interest. Losing interest. And they have forgotten about us. So, we'll just let them make their patrols, get back to their business, and then sneakily head back down to the outpost. So far, I don't see them. Kitty parkour, roll! All right, there's one of them. Well, we should be able to sneak past them, most likely... Here we go, and let's head inside. Alrighty. Hey, here's the guy. I'm glad you're here. I need you to kill a cold-hearted grave digger. Tends to work in the Hall of the Dead in Windhelm. This is all the gold I have. 600 gold, damn. We'll definitely take that. Alright. I'm, I'm sure. Okay, let's see. What do you have in here? So far, these chests don't really have much. What's in... Let's hide on the bed. <laughs> let's see what you got in here. Not much there. Alright, well, let's get out of here. We have now arrived in Windhelm. As you can see. So we're going to head to the Hall of the Dead, which appears to be back around this corner. Hey, they still got the crime scene here. We, we need to do that. That side quest. I've never done it. Be a detective. Detective Kitty Cat. Alright, so where is this guy hiding? Or what is this guy doing? Just standing still. Hmm. Well, time to, uh... One second. Yep, that's our target. Not really doing much. Well, time to, uh, put our blades to work. So cool looking. Yeah. 
There we go. Sneak increase to 75. Completed. Dark Brotherhood forever. Nice. Alrighty. Well, let's get the hell out of here and head back to the sanctuary. So yeah, as you saw there before we got out of there, it says it completed Dark Brotherhood forever, started it forever. It's an infinite loop quest. Um, it's kind of like we've completed all the Dark Brotherhood stuff. Oh, yeah, I forgot we, we redecorated the place. Herp derp. Got some alchemy stuff over here. But yeah, um, I'm going to start taking this and explain a little. Whoa, glitching fish and lotus. Um, yeah, it, it, it's an infinite loop. Uh, if I remember reading correctly on, on, like, the wiki or something like that. And basically, you, you just do a contract, come back, do a contract, come back. So I'm not going to just continue to do that. I just wanted to at least show you guys kind of what that continuing quest is, so to speak. Um, but I do have something special planned for the next, um, fungal pod. Sorry, I'm getting, I'm trying to talk about something else that I'm not actually doing here while I'm playing. Um, but I do have something special planned, uh, for the next quest, and that is Dawn Guard! That's right! I want to go join the Dawn Guard and fight and hunt some vampires. Um, yet again, it's DLC. I have well, I started it once. I got to the, uh... Let's see. Hold on. Lots of cool stuff. Okay. I'm gonna start eating ingredients and talking to you guys. Um, I started it once on another character, but I never got past getting to the Dawnguard <gasps> castle and actually starting the actual quests. I've never done that. So, we're definitely gonna do that. That's gonna be my next thing, because... I hear it's amazing. Never done it, so I don't know what's going to happen. I've, I haven't looked up anything about it. Alright, well, what I'm going to do real quick is some alchemy. Alchemy is not the most fun thing to watch, because um, it takes a while, because I've got a lot of ingredients and things I'm going to make. So I'll skip past this and see you on the other side. Hey, paralysis. Sweet. Alchemy increases 30. Hey! Level up! Okay. This will be a good spot to continue the actual video that you guys see, like I've said before, I talk during the stuff when I don't plan on recording it, just in case. Let's see, what are we going to level up? Get a little bit of health. Our sneak. We're so close. So close to Shadow Warrior. I've never, ever, ever gotten a skill up to 100 before. Never. Not once, not never. But we will in this, this Let's Play, that's for sure. We can zoom in. That could come in handy. Up to Power Shot. Oh, I definitely want Power Shot. Power Shot's gonna be nice. Um, our one-handed stuff. Can't do Dual Flurry yet, but we will pick that up at some point. Got our Light Armor. But yet again, I don't like getting into much battle. Hmm. What should we pick? What should we pick indeed? Alchemy. 25% more powerful. I'm liking that. Um, 25% greater magnitude. Cool. Some more powerful stuff. Okay. Hmm. Things to pick. Enchanting. We really haven't started that yet, but we probably will later. Smithing. We can't get any higher yet. We definitely will need to to really improve our weapons, so we're going to pick Eagle Eye. As you can see there, you press block, and it will aim in, zoom zoom in on the view, and the perk next to it, the one off to the right, is, um, it slows down time by a little bit, but it slows you down as well, it's not like you're all Matrix Neo awesome cat, but, anyway, um, uh, I think we're just gonna hop down and take a look around at the new digs, there's gotta be a master bedroom around here somewhere, don't know where, but we'll just look around. Not going to be a lot of action in this particular video, uh, just because this is kind of a, I guess you could say a setup. How may I serve you, my listener? Hey, we got another follower wish, we could listener. pick up. Nice. So we got a definite wealth of resources as far as followers go right here. There's our secret entrance. That's cool. I don't know, I don't know where it comes out at. Probably near Dawnstar, I would imagine, if I remember correctly in the uh, Delvin talks. 
Right, so where is the master bedroom for me? The master of the Dark Brotherhood. Got another bedroom in here. Doesn't look much like a master bedroom, though. There's some stuff in here. So I'm going to look around and find this master bedroom. <laughs> and I will continue this video here in a second. Now let's check around this. Hey, this looks like a master bedroom. Oh, and it's got a mannequin. Yes. Awesome. Oh, I've never had a mannequin before, but it's already got some stuff on it. Sorry, I'm, I'm really nerding out. Skyrim nerding out right now. Because I've seen, you can drop armor on a mannequin, like so stuff that you maybe want to display or keep on there or something like that. Um, so what do we want to put on there? That's a good question. Right, look at that. That's kind of like our, I guess you could say a trophy for assassinating him. The Emperor's robes. But nah, I don't want to do that. Um, let's see. Because the Emperor's robes aren't really useful. I want to put some useful stuff on here. Let's put the de the jester stuff on here. Yeah, we'll do that. Cicero will probably think it's like an homage to him, but while well, he's an idiot, if he thinks such a thing, there we go. Boom. Awesome. All right, let's check out our bedroom. Got some garlic. Got a... Ooh, a bookshelf. Sweet. We can place 18 more books on the shelf. So we're going to place books on the shelf. Just so you can see... Just basically store them. You hit the store button. Can't do the notes or anything like that. Well, I mean, like the fold-up paper notes. But yeah, I'm basically using this to kind of offload inventory. Ah, nice. Like I said, using it to offload inventory. Uh, drop some weight. Some parchment. We can write some notes. Got a weapon rack. Nice. Very nice. Some leather strips. We'll definitely take that. What else do we have? Got some stairs that lead up to our bed. Ladies. Just saying. Wow. <laughs> Weapon rack. Um, it will... If I remember correctly, it'll basically take the weapon you have equipped and put it on the rack. If I remember correctly. But I don't have any weapons I want to put there as of right now. I just... Bow, bows and two daggers. Or a bow and two daggers. What is that? Justin Timberlake gloves? Is that what I'm seeing? <laughs> Timber Timberlane? We'll call them Timberlake gloves. Because that's funnier. Let's see. They lock picking is 20% easier. Okay. That's something we can just kind of store for later. Um, we got some some other shrouded stuff. That's an enchanted something over there. Shrouded ropes. Okay. Draft of the warrior. Coin purse. Coin purse. Ooh, Scrolls of Fear, cur Courage, and Frenzy. Nice. Very nice. Dresser, what do you have? Miner's clothes? Nah. Got our bed. Got a chest. Some gold in it. We'll definitely take the gold. And we'll offload some inventory. Um, What do we got? We don't need. Well, actually, most of this we don't need. Um, We could use it and sell it later. Or maybe learn its enchanting later and create fortify enchantments and whatnot so we'll start storing some things that I don't really need at the moment trim down become not such a fat cat smithing I'll hold on to just because I I do smith from time to time and I don't want to have to keep coming back here to get it um, take all that cool looking good looking good do I want to drop anything else off? Hmm. Let's see. What can I drop off? Drop quite a bit more weight. Arrows. Nah. Pickaxe. We'll hold on to that for the mining. Potions. We'll drop off some potions we don't need. The ones that really don't apply to sneakiness and whatnot. Heavy armor skill like that, for example. One-handed weapons. We use those. Uh, frostbite venom is kind of a weak potion, but we can hold on to it. Poison damage. Now, do we want to do frostbite? Yeah, we'll hold on to that. More poison. There are some things that resist poison, but, you know, we'll hold on to those. We definitely want to decrease the magicka and stamina 
just in case we get into like a a bad spot. So that way we can shoot person with an arrow. It'll have the effect, which will be awesome. And then we can run away or sneak up behind them and kill them. Or just pop them with uh, arrows. <laughs> okay, so I think basically what I'm going to do, j just because this is going to be a short video, um, is I'm going to drop off some more stuff, uh, trim down, and go to sleep, get well rested, and then next time you see a video from me and hear my voice and cat face meowmers, we will be starting Dawn Guard. We'll see you guys later.